We do not interrupt the natural process of queen rearing. If we find a colony that's in the process of superseding their queen, we don't interrupt that. We'll make sure it's going good, we'll mark the colony, we'll come back, we'll confirm that they successfully raised a new colony, a new queen, and if, and if they've failed to raise a new queen, we'll take action to make them queen right again through the introduction of a, of a new starter colony. By not interrupting supersedure, by allowing bees to raise their own queens, we are maintaining the genetic lineage inside a hive whenever possible. And that's just one example of how we're trying to leave the bees in charge, trying to have confidence in the natural processes of the hive and really not assume that we know anything that the bees don't know or know better than the bees, for instance. And so, um, yeah, supersedure is a great example of, of how we are working with the bees, letting them be in charge of their own natural processes and, and having faith in, in their ability to restore themselves. And it's so often the case that we can see that, you know, Sometimes uh, we'll see a low level of brood disease and we'll mark that colony. Uh, and, and then the next time we look in on that colony, we know that the bees have prepared to raise a new queen. They were already aware of the problem. And so oftentimes the, the interrupting of the brood cycle and the raising of a new queen is all that was required to rectify that problem. And we didn't have to come in and play any heavy handed action.